Good morning, brothers and sisters. Hope everyone had a good week and hope everyone is practicing safe distancing and wearing your mask. We teach the Word of God chapter by chapter, verse by verse, using the manuscripts, the original writings to support the King James Bible. Now let's have an old-fashioned Bible lecture. Go with me into this lecture, and I hope you follow along with your Bibles. Good morning. I'd like to talk to you today about Memorial Day, the day that we are about to celebrate. And Memorial Day, also called Declaration Day, a day in the last week of May, set aside in most states of the United States for observance in memory of dead members of the armed forces that were involved in wars, now officially observed on the last Monday in May. The theme of this lecture is remembering the bridge that carried this country over its troubled waters. Freedom worth having, remember, is freedom worth fighting for. Psalms 144, David writes, Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. If we love and enjoy the freedom of religion, the freedom of grace to worship our God without a governmental communistic dictatorship, I would say this country is worth fighting for. And as this psalm clearly allows us to know, that there is a time of rest, there is a time of peace, there is a time to fight for what you believe in and what you stand for. I want to talk to you today about a holiday that is about to be celebrated on Monday. This day is called Memorial Day. I want to talk to you about a day that should be celebrated in its full intent and design which is to remember our fallen veterans. These are those that sacrifice their lives, Christians as well as non-Christians, that we may have a better today and a better tomorrow. And you and I are living in that tomorrow today. We must realize that the freedoms that we enjoy it has and continues to be a sacrifice. I want to say there has been many of us that have lost mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, nieces, nephews, cousins, grandparents, and friends in which this devastation has been felt all over the world by everyone that is connected. This is not just a time to weep, but a time to look up and see the fear that somebody had and the fearlessness that others possess to endure their appointment with war on the battlefield. God bless America. God bless America. This was a self-inflicting determination if it meant returning home with psychological nightmares, if it meant returning home with missing limbs, or if it meant possibly their journey of life ending on the battlefield, it was solely about keeping America great and a safe place to live. These veterans were not necessarily thinking of themselves, but thinking of the future of their country for those that was coming after them. Now, when we talk about keeping America great, making America great, let me tell you something. These veterans knew what that was about. They went about their duties 
to make sure that we were secured as a nation. These veterans, again, I will say, were not necessarily thinking of themselves, but thinking of the future of their country for those that was coming after them, and that is the generations. You see, there were many that were Christian-hearted and believed in the Bible and the Constitution that it was created upon. Though God created this earth to have peace and tranquility and to have the upbringing of his word that it may introduce into the hearts of every human being on earth. Political figures did then and still are making deals that create differences between other countries that eventually end in war and the innocent are the ones that go into battle and fight to try to protect this country. There are many that are with us and many that have gone before us, but yet they have chosen to serve our country and our place and are worthy to be lifted up for a cause that they did not create, which may have served with their life even unto death. As we look back now from a Christian perspective and look back upon our regiment, there were missionaries, missionary families, and chaplains as well who volunteered their lives to win souls for Christ and to feed and minister unto the needy during this time of war, serving this country through the armed services. We as Christians should not be quick to forget, to remember our own and give thanks and praise to God for their desire and their will to go forth and create a country fit for people who love God and are very much attracted to freedom. It was also their choice to go forward into foreign countries, giving up their lives when necessary to help someone and lead them along the way by introducing them to Christ. Let me tell you, being in a war zone, if you don't believe in God, will definitely lead you to seek the true and the living God and the creator of this creation and bring you to know the true God of creation and his Savior that died on the cross of Calvary for all of us that are willing to accept him and bow down and worship him and give our lives to him as well. This determination would enable men and women to walk uprightly before our Lord and Savior, learning about him as the creator of this universe and getting to know his son who died on the cross of Calvary for the sins of the people in this world, that they might have a right to the goodness of God. So when we look at Memorial Day, we are looking at a day that represents all types of people, all types of races, all types that have committed their life to a cause for others that are coming behind them, that they would be able to look forward to a destiny of hope. Let us go forward this Monday, this coming Monday, celebrating somebody's loss, not just thinking about ourselves, not just thinking about a Memorial Day feast, a festivity, not just thinking about a day off from work, but thinking about those that have given their lives for us that we might have a better world by retaining the principles that this country was built on. Think about those that have given their lives to secure the freedoms that we enjoy. And along the way, many have come to know the Lord as Lord and Savior. Many in their endeavors have help to feed the hungry and shelter those that are in need, 
to take the gospel, the gospel into other countries that ordinarily would not have ever known it. But still, they were willing to give up their lives and the time that they should have been spending with their own families or doing things that they like. They did it all for this, for a wonderful cause. And that cause is a cause that you and I enjoy daily. As we look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 1 through 6, it says, Take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So as we look at this particular verse, we can see that they have their reward because they did it from their heart to bring us into freedom, to keep freedom, and to bring us in to the knowledge of knowing God through his son, Jesus Christ. In closing, everybody say Memorial Day. Remember this day of celebration. Remember the cause. Remember the lives that were given. Remember the lives that were sacrificed the freedom that you and I so many times have taken for granted. Let us, this holiday, this celebration, acknowledge its worth, its value. Somebody's loved ones did not return home because of the love they had for the future of this country. And remember this, our veterans could have chosen to run and hide but they chose to serve with pride. God bless you. Thank you. 